So one of my clients just recently uh, contacted me and he was saying that he had uh, problems deleting some of his photos. Now, if you want to delete some of your photos, maybe you're going through your library and you're trying to tidy it up and you notice, for instance, in this example here, where you've got two uh, images, then you may think it's quite straightforward to delete anything here within the images. And we're going to look at today that there may be a situation where you can't delete the image. So I'm going to show you how you can delete all images that you need to delete. And also I've got a really good bonus at the end as well that's going to show you how you can make your images appear in certain sections of Google My Business. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. And uh, certainly with Google My Business, it's one way in which you can get a real good presence for free amongst uh, local businesses. So if you want to know more about local business or how you can improve your search uh, ability to be found by other people locally, then you're going to find this channel really useful. So make sure you subscribe to it. In fact, uh, if you haven't really seen this channel before, you'll notice if you go to my uh, section and you click on home and there you'll see that I have a whole section here, Google My Business for Beginners. And if you click on that, you'll see some really straightforward, easy to follow tutorials. So make sure you subscribe. And then once you've uh, completed those areas and understood how to do some of those things, you'll find that uh, the other uh, parts like uh, how to max out and so on will really make some sense. But let's take the question that's really before us now, and that's regarding these images then. So how do we delete the images? Well, the straightforward answer is you click on it, and then to the right hand side here we have a bin, and that would make sense. But, and this is where the problem comes, if I was to select this image, you'll notice there's no bin there. And you'll find there's quite a few of your images, you may find that it has no ability to delete. So no matter what I press, what I do here, there's no bin, there's no way of deleting it. And you'll find that might be the case for quite a few of your images. So what can you do? Well, the simple thing would be to delete this one because this one has got a delete bin. But obviously there should be a way of deleting this image and uh, I'm going to show you how you can do that now. It's pretty straightforward and uh, this was shared with me by my client when he found the solution. The solution is really straightforward. You just go to Google Maps and what's probably happened is that's been then put there by either you or uh, someone else logged in through Google Maps and it's then showing on your business. So if you wanted to remove that image, then the simple way to do this would be to click on your Google Maps. So just to click on Google Maps itself. And uh, then once you're into Google Maps, you'll notice you've got photos. Let me just show you that again. So click on here, which is your settings. And if you then go to your contributions, and there you'll then see all the contributions you've made. And if you click on photos, and then this will be where those photos reside. So if you've got ones that you can't delete on your photo section, it's because you've not been logged into Google My Business when you entered the photos. So normally if you're adding photos, you might use this button here, you click on that and you have the photos there. But in this case, this one was added in a different way. And so I can't delete it from within Google My Business. So what I need to do is go to Google Maps and then I need to find that uh, photo which will be down here somewhere and I can do that by uh, sort of date or sort by views. And once you then find the photo, say for example it was uh, this photo here, you click on that, delete this photo, as simple as that. So it just means it's been shared in a different way to the way in which um, these ones are added. And hopefully that will solve that situation. Now as a bonus as well, just in case you haven't uh, come across this, but when you've got uh, images like this, sometimes you double up, so you may want to delete one because you've doubled up on it, which is fine. But something else you may want to do is, you may notice that there are certain types of images up here. And so as a bonus, how do you get, say, certain images to appear on interior? How would you do that? Well, let's just go back to uh, a photo. This is uh, an interior of my office. If I click on this and then I go to information, I can then say this is interior. Click that. And now this should now appear as my interior as well. So if I go to interior and there you go, it's now appearing as number one on my interior. So if you want exterior, 
It's similar again, you can just take a uh, setting by uh, going to uh, any of your photos, finding your exterior. So let's say this was an exterior shot. So we click on that, information, and we'll say that's exterior. And you can do that for these categories here, and no doubt more categories will follow. So hopefully that's been useful as well. Thank you for uh, uh, following along, and hopefully that's been useful to you. And certainly I appreciate my client for sharing that with me too. Thank you.